Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again today, checking out my AnnexNet ISO. This is part three, three, in the installation routine for getting an Annex set, uh, set up. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is we're running this in VirtualBox, and I wasn't going to show this initially, but since, but you, since you might be interested, I want to get the guest editions installed in this. So I'm going to go up to uh, device. If you have, you don't have to do this obviously on a real desktop, but if you're doing this on a in a virtual box, you might find it useful. So I'm going to go up to devices and insert guest images CD, and I'm going to cancel this because the auto run prompt didn't run for me. But what I am going to do is go to the terminal, terminal, Monte terminal, and uh, that looks really terrible. So I'm going to change the profile real quick to something I can see. So uh, let's see here. Uh, colors, I think it is. Yeah, colors. So using the system thing, I'm going to use white on black. All right. So we're going to CD slash media. The, it mounts in CD-ROM on Annex. There it is. And we're going to run... Actually, we're not because... Oh, yeah. Uh, this is why I installed Build Essential and DKMS ahead of time, uh, the system, so I can install the guest editions. Uh, so it's sh dot backslash vbox uh, Linux. Now, for whatever reason, autocomplete doesn't work on this for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, when vbox editions uh, dot run, and it's going to do its thing. Oh, I forgot to be an administrator. Okay, so I'll bring the command back up and do a little sudo on the front end of it. My password, and off it goes. This is going to take about well, actually, not very long. But what this is going to do, this is going to let me have the screen resize thing that happens in VirtualBox when you have the guest editions installed. And it's also going to let me have the cut and paste, uh, the clipboard, uh, because my cheat sheet over here is running on my host system, not in the guest system. And the next couple of commands, I really want to be able to copy and paste them because they're really long. They're longer than what I did in the last video. So this is how you install the guest editions. After the guest editions are done, you just do a quick reboot, and you'll have all your uh, uh, guest edition. Uh, I'll, I'll, the, I'll be able to have the common clipboard between the two systems. There's a couple of things you need to do. There's also going to be a group created, and I like to go ahead and set that up too. Okay, starting the guest edition is fine. Uh, now I'm going to add myself to the group that's created. It doesn't say so here, but it was. So sudo nano batch dash etsy batch dash group. I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom, and there's going to be a vbox uh, sf group. I'm going to add myself to that. So you just put your old username there. Save it. And then this time when we reboot, I will have uh, the guest editions installed on on the system and I can have the bi-directional clipboard. Very important for me. Uh, this is not important to you. You can skip ahead a couple seconds in the video and I guess and go to the next set of commands because I'm going to be installing what I call the Mate bits and pieces. Things that you might want that aren't necessarily installed by default. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. There it goes. Takes a second to kick in. I don't know why, but it does. Um, and we'll go ahead and inject eject the guest edition CD. You don't need it anymore. And we'll turn on in the in the menu up here. I'm gonna turn on the shared clipboard so that I can do some things. All right. So in the next thing here in my cheat sheet are Mate bits and pieces. Now what these are? These are things that technically speaking you don't need them to run Mate obviously because I have it running. But it's things that are nice. There's some applets you might want for the panel. There's some some extra stuff for the for the desktop. There's a there's a there's some extra applets, doc applets. There's icon themes. Uh, there's all kinds of system monitors, a screensaver. There's a tweak tool, which is kind of cool because it lets you use Compton um, kind of built in, which is kind of cool for for your effects. Um, so I'm going to install these here real quick. So for, first, I'm going to have uh, the terminal back open. And I'm going to say sudo apt get install. And now I'm going to copy this command. And I'll have it down in the show notes. And control shift V, paste all that in, and away we go. 
And again, it's another 60 megs of stuff. It's going to download a bunch of stuff. Most of this will go into effect as soon as it's installed. There are things like, um, well, like I said, they're mostly panel plugins. So uh, one of my favorites is the Mate Advanced Menu because it does search and allows me to map it to a super key, Windows key, uh, uh, similar to um, the 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 whisker menu in MX. FYI, I have tried the brisk menu that a lot of people go and gaga over in Annex world in, in Linux world on YouTube, um, and it's nice. I gotta admit, it's nice. It searches very fast. Um, right now, I and maybe it's just me being a neophyte in in Mate. I can't map a key to the thing, so I can open it with a key press. I got to use the mouse. And part of why I want an application launcher is to map it to the thing. Now it's still in development, so I'm sure. I mean, the guy working on it, the team working on it, are pretty smart guys. So I imagine that that'll be added in the future. It's just not there yet. I mean, there's not even a GUI settings tool for the thing yet. So uh, it's coming, and it's going to be nice, and it's going to look. It looks a lot like the Whisker menu. So I mean, copy a good design, right? Uh, it's it looks good. All right, so those applets are installed. So you can see if I go to add to panel, I'm now going to have a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, there's a dock panel applet thing. Again, I'm not a Mate user by like ever. I mean, I've used it this week a little bit, uh, but you do have you do have the plugins, and this is the 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 one with the search in it. So you can say terminal and it comes up you know except if you don't spell it right it doesn't come up but like that so that's that's a pretty nice one uh, a pretty nice application so I'm gonna remove it for now just because it's in the way so anyway so anyway that's mostly what you get you get the tweak tool uh, in there there's all sorts of things now let's talk about firmware now firmware when I'm running a virtual box the why I use virtual box because it emulates an Ethernet connection I don't need any firmware for an Ethernet connection but when I get to my computers I'm gonna need uh, firmware for the wireless connections the Intel I've got two Intel computers I got an Atheros computer and I've got a netbook that uses Broadcom and I would prefer a live stick that I might make later, hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, to work with all those things. So what I did is I went through, and you can do this in Synaptic, but I've already done the homework. I basically copied all the common firmware, and honestly, I don't know what all these are. So some of that I may not need, need, okay? You don't know you need it until you need it. And then also the Broadcom proprietary driver for my netbook is right here. So I'm going to copy these in. Again, you can do this in Synaptic, but honestly, You've come this far with the terminal, it's faster, especially since I can cut, cut, copy and paste this command. Okay, control V, uh, control V, and then also Broadcom STA DKMS. Okay, so this is going to install all the drivers that I need personally for my hardware. Uh, I'm not touching NVIDIA stuff, I'm not touching ATI stuff, uh, the stuff's there, you can do it if you want. So we'll install that. I, I want to show this because there is a question, and I think it's on one of the Intel firmwares, which is why I wanted to do this. There's going to be a question that's going to ask you if you accept an agreement. Now, it's a EULA, right? It's a EULA, and it turns a lot of Linux users off, but you need it, okay? I don't know what to tell you. If you, if you want to run Intel hardware, you, you got to say yes. Well, not all the Intel hardwares, but this particular Intel hardware. This particular one is Intel Pro Wireless 2100 and 2200. So, fine. Yes, you can have my firstborn. Okay, there we go. That was the only one. I think there's another one. I think there's there's a set of firmware I did not install for Hophage uh, graphics capture cards. There's Broadcom doing its thing, setting up. This is the other reason to install DKMS ahead of time uh, is because you have to compile the Broadcom driver on the fly, kind of sort of. It, may, it builds the module for your kernel. Uh, like a lot of drivers do, you got to have the kernel module. So it's doing a thing. It's going to update the initial RAM disk, the initial RAM MS. That's it. That was pretty quick, right? So... When I reboot now, I will have, if I, if I was able to boot this on my netbook now, my wireless hardware would be working. Except for one thing. Come up here to YCD icon here and click on, actually start it up, yeah, left click on it, and you'll come into this little tab here, hit preferences. 
you need to know what the name of your wireless interface is. Um, obviously, my VirtualBox doesn't have one, but if on my other hardwares, I know that all my all my wireless connections are called WLAN zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Um, it doesn't it doesn't do anything if it do, if it can't find the part, but it's nice to have it in there so that you know now you know when it won't find your network connection. Now you know you gotta tell it what your interface name is. If you need to find out what your interface name is, just type if config. And it'll tell you. So it's going. You're going to look like something like this, but for your wireless part. Okay. For tips, tricks, how tos, head over to annex.mepis.org, or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.